Hey, first grade friends, and welcome back to another writing session where we are switching gears a little bit and we're going to talk all about opinions. Now, remember, friends, an opinion is something that someone thinks or feels. It's different depending on who you ask. For example, in my opinion, green is the best color. But in your opinion, you might think that blue or purple are the best colors. Opinions change from person to person. And here's our task this week. It says, this week we learned that characters may experience events in very different ways. Think about Wendell and Sophie and how they experienced playing together very differently. In your opinion, was Wendell a good friend to Sophie? Why or why not? And be sure to include a reason. Well, friends, we're going to use our Oreo opinion writing model to help us not only state our opinion, but we're going to give a reason, an example, and then we're going to restate our opinion again. So our job today is to make a plan for our entire paragraph, and then we're going to draw a picture that matches our reason or example that supports our opinion. So if you have your blue ELA spiral and you flip over to page 96, you'll see 96 on the bottom, you have an Oreo opinion writing planning page. And you can use this to sketch, you can use this to write a few words to help you make a plan. And the thing about the Oreo opinion writing model is that we have our opinions or our cookies on the top and the bottom. The O stands for opinion. So we're going to start our, uh, our paragraph off by stating our opinion. We're then going to make sure that we end our paragraph by restating our opinion. But we can't just say what our opinion is. Oreos aren't great when you just have the cookie. The best stuff is this double stuff Oreo. We're going to give a reason for that opinion, and then, this isn't just any regular Oreo, it's double stuff, we're also going to give an example that supports that reason. So I'm just going to write down or jot down a couple of words that help me remember what it is that I want to write, and it plans my paragraph out. This is very similar to our telling our paragraph across our fingers. Our first part of our cookie is kind of like our topic sentence or our opening sentence. Our reason and our example are kind of like those middle two sentences. And then restating our opinion is kind of like our closing sentence. So in my opinion, I have to say my opinion first. Is Wendell a good friend? No, I don't think so. I'm going to say Wendell is a bad friend. I don't think he's a good friend. And guess what, friends? If that's my opinion that I'm going to state in the beginning of my paragraph in that opening sentence, I'm going to say the exact same thing on the bottom. Wendell is a bad friend. You could even just jot really quickly, bad friend. But this isn't just a chocolate cookie. We have to have our double stuff cream in the middle. That's the best part, right? So you need to support this opinion with a reason. Well, why do you think Wendell is a bad friend? Well, I think he's a bad friend because he is selfish and bossy. That's my reason. That's why I think Wendell is a crummy friend. Well, now I need you to give an example of a time when Wendell was selfish and bossy. Well, whenever they played games, he made all the rules. Notice how I'm not writing complete sentences, friends. This is just helping me to get an idea of exactly what I want to write. Just like how I practice my paragraph across my fingers, my Oreo planning page is going to help me figure out what it is I want to say. So I know I'm going to start by saying Wendell's a bad friend. I know I'm going to write a reason sentence that tells that he's selfish and bossy. I know an example of him being selfish and bossy is when he made all of the rules. And then I'm going to close this up, wrap up my paragraph with my bottom cookie to restate my opinion. Wendell is a bad friend. Okay, so I've got my plan. Now I'm ready to start drawing a picture that matches. If you have your blue ELA spiral, you'll have this writing task page right after your planning page, and you'll have a rectangle on the top for your picture. If you don't have this page, friends, you're just using the top part of your piece of paper in front of you. And you'll notice that I already started drawing my picture. My recommendation, friends, is that you draw a picture that gives us the example that you're going to write about. So my example of why I think that Wendell is selfish and bossy is that he made all of the rules. So here they are. Here's Sophie. I'm going to add a label to her. Sophie. If you're not sure how to spell her name, it's right up in your prompt. 
Sophie, and you can see that I made her look pretty sad or angry. And then here's Wendell. Label him so that everybody knows who these characters are. Again, you can get his name from your writing prompt. And I want to show that he is being a bad friend. This is an example of him being a bad friend. Well, Sophie's up on the toy box. Here's her toy chest. And in the illustration in the story, it's labeled toys. And this is the scene or the part of the story where Wendell wants to be everything. He's the doctor, he's the nurse, and the patient. Oh, and he gets all these spots on his face. He's the patient, so he must have like chicken pox or something. I'm gonna go back in later and make all those spots red, because I bet you they're chicken pox. And I'm gonna add a speech bubble showing that he says he's gonna make all of the rules. I will make all the rules. Now my picture matches my opinion. Now anybody that looks to my picture will know, oh, well you must think he's a bad friend because he says he has to make all the rules while poor Sophie over here is sad and sitting on top of the toy chest. So once you get your picture drawn, friends, and make sure that you add those labels, then you can come back in with your colored pencils and start realistically coloring in your characters as well as the setting. So I'm going to go ahead and get this colored in realistically. You guys are going to plan your opinion paragraph, tell us what your opinion is, say out loud what your reason is and an example of that, and then restate or retell your opinion again for your closing sentence. Then you can go ahead and start drawing a picture that represents the example of whatever your opinion is.